It has been a difficult week for Sierra Joggins family, along with the jurors who have been forced to view those graphic images and listen to this emotional testimony. But it's all part of the state's case to prove James Worley's guilt. I give her a kiss and said bye. All telling the jury about not being able to get in touch with Sierra after her bike ride home from her boyfriend's home. I did notice that her light wasn't on, um, which now strikes me as very odd, but I thought, well, you know, she might have been tired from the bike ride. I didn't know if she had to get up early and she was going to go work out or if she had to work early. Members of the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, along with investigators from the Bureau of Criminal Investigation, testified to finding a cornfield Sierra was abducted from, showing the jury blood-stained evidence they collected like Sierra's sock and bike. The jury then learned it was a volunteer member of a search team who found Sierra's grave in another cornfield. And images of how Sierra was found in that grave brought a BCI investigator to tears. And she's got straw in her hair. She's got a brassiere, like a lace cover brassiere, handcuffs, a rope, and an adult hiker. That adult diaper, along with other items found in Sierra's grave, the state then worked to link back to Worley. Investigators testified to finding similar items like those diapers, tube socks, lacy undergarments, and bondage items in a green tub in one of Worley's barns. Some large zip ties and it appears to be a ball gag. But while these items, along with a long list of pornographic movies found on Worley's computer, were entered into evidence, the defense painted a different picture of the defendant. Worley's longtime friend testified Worley was interested in starting up a porn studio to generate money. Yeah, so he was going to run it as an LLC? Something, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Right. Run it as a business, not yeah. as a hobby. Yeah. And the defense also making a case that the porn sites flagged by the state on Worley's browser was just a small portion of his online activity.